Hey everybody. Hey, I wanted to make this quick video because I had some questions about the My Templates folder in the Creator. So as you know, when you create your graphic with the Creator, once it loads and once you alter it, you can use the file menu Save to My Templates or just try and leave the template like uh, you want to select another template. You'll get a save dialog. And when you save it, you'll notice that it is it appears in your My Templates folder. Here it is. Now, after a while, this folder will fill up pretty good if you use the software a lot. And even if you don't use the software a lot and you come back to it and you make a logo, after a while, this folder will be full. And pretty soon, you're going to have too many templates and the creator may slow down on you or other problems may occur. There are some people in the forum talking about having over 150, 200 uh, templates in this folder, which is why I'm doing this video. <laughs> okay, so a couple of things you're going to want to do is probably delete some of these. Okay, let's say you have uh, multiple versions that you like, some of them you don't like, and you want to delete them. So down here, a lot of people don't really notice this. Down here where it says click template to select, option click to delete. Now, this is my Mac, so it's option click. And on Windows, it'll tell you uh, alt click to delete. Which means that if you don't want something, you just select it while you hold down the option or the alt key. And you'll get a message that says you want to delete it. Say yes, and it's gone. Okay, easy as that. Now, another trick you might want to consider is starting with a blank My Templates folder again. To do that, it's really easy. Go to your desktop, open a window, go to the Documents folder, okay, and look for the Laughing Bird Documents. There's mine. On Windows, same thing. Just open up a folder, find your Documents folder, and look for Laughing Bird Documents. And inside the Laughing Bird Documents folder, look for Logo Libraries and, of course, My Templates. Okay, here's all the templates we've made. Okay, now, here's what you want to do. Just rename the folder. You can right-click over Windows and hit Rename, or just rename it like you normally do. My Older Templates, or whatever. Okay, Mac, same thing. Documents, logo libraries, find my templates, and rename it. And now the next time you open the creator, you'll notice that you no longer have a my templates folder because you deleted it. Okay, don't worry about it. But you do have the renamed folder that is now part of the left-hand menu here. So now when you select a template and you alter it or whatever you're doing, right? And you want to select another template because you don't like that one. It's going to ask you to save it. New banner. Save it. And guess what? Over here, we have a brand spanking new empty my templates folder. And here it is. Now it's going to start filling up again. But you still have your older templates here. Now, once this fills up, simply go back to the My Templates folder on your desktop. Okay, here it is. Rename this one now My Templates 2. Okay, or whatever you want to call it. No more My Templates folder. You don't have to create one. And the next time you launch the creator, let's quit. Let's reopen it. And no more My Templates, but here is Logo Templates 2 with what we just created. And once we find something else we want to modify, create whatever you want. And you don't even have to go under the File menu and choose Save to My Templates because if you just leave, quit, or do anything else but stay on the canvas, you're going to get this dialog. 
And when you save it, you're gonna notice a brand spanking new My Templates folder with your brand new logo or logos, and this will fill up again. But now you have my older templates that had been full and my templates too, or whatever you've named it, that will also be full. And pretty soon you're gonna have a whole bunch of templates on the side here, but they won't all be in one folder. All right. So there you go. All right, hope that helped and uh, thanks for watching.